We are live. And how are you today? Have you been working on that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go the full shebang. How are you? But that's not. The shirts are on today because it's pretty brass monkeys and got nipples that can collapse. <laughs> yeah, already, so. we were fully planning on doing the whole whoosh, get a pump on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're both walking up here like a pair of grannies. Yeah, we grass monkeys. Grass monkeys? Grass monkeys, <laughs> even. Um, so it's Sunday for us, um, and we're going to chat about making meaningful connections. Yeah, and actually straight away, Joey Gallon's on, Cheryl's on. Now, Cheryl's birthday, awesome can people. everybody give a shout out to Cheryl? Yay. Happy birthday, Happy Cheryl. Happy birthday, Cheryl. Happy days. Um, um, so yeah, I think the point number one is making meaningful connections. You have to understand what that meaning is for you, and, and what you're looking to get out of any connection or relationship. Now this could be a working relationship, it can be a friendly relationship, it can be a family relationship, I guess. Yeah. It's um, making sure that the status quo, everybody's happy. If everybody's happy. Yeah, I think I think if everybody understands what you're getting from that relationship, nobody likes one-sided relationships and you get them all the time. You probably, if you're watching this right now, you're probably thinking of a few people that you have relationships with. Um, that are maybe one-sided. I've certainly had them in the past uh, where you feel like you're, you're giving more than you're receiving. Um, not in a dirty way. <laughs> <laughs> There's a word for people like that. Actually, the ones that... Um, you might have had a friend in the past who um, is constantly needing advice but then doesn't take it and therefore is always still needing it. Yeah. And I think the word I saw online was called an asshole. An asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they ask you for advice but they never yeah, take it. So they're, they're constantly asking you for advice again. So it's, yeah. every time you meet up with them, you're always talking about them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and I, th I think some people thrive on it as well. That's, that's the thing. Yeah. Some, some people thrive on um, talking about themselves um, but actually they, they don't want to get to the bottom of the problem because if they get to the bottom of the problem, they can't talk about themselves anymore. Did you just break something? <laughs> um, but fundamentally what this comes down to is listening. Really. It certainly does. Um, the only way you can listen is by somebody else talking, of course. Mm -hmm. But um, if everybody... Or, or listening, what I liked was listen to understand rather than listening to respond. Yeah. Which, is, which is good, because again, a lot of people are, are listening, yeah, totally, totally but they're get just that. waiting on their turn and to speak. Yeah, straight away, you're already thinking of your response rather than fully listening to understand. And as coaches, this is what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we have relationships, you know, relationships not just, you know, partners as such. Um, I, I have a relationship with Rab, I have a relationship with my wife, I have a relationship with my clients, I have a relationship with my dog. And everyone, <laughs> <laughs> the order that that went, and I was like, "This, this is a Sunday, mate, Jesus!" <laughs> um, but when you feel that, so so with with clients, you know, it, it's this, it's a working, it's a meaningful relationship. They're looking for something from it, and then I'm there to provide a certain aspect and to get something from it myself. So it is a meaningful relationship, but. The most important thing in coaching is listening to understand rather than to respond. Um, there are a lot of coaches and trainers out there that are that are just far too quick on the button to give advice, give advice, you should do this, you should do this, you should do this, rather than actually fully understanding their client and where they're coming from. And it's about playing over. So when if you meet someone and you're asking them questions, you really want to take in... Sorry, the dogs are running underneath. We're half expecting <laughs> the cameras to fall any minute. Yeah, you want to listen, take in, and really process what it is they've told you, because if you don't really process it, you won't fully understand it later. You might understand it at the time, but then you want to reflect on it. So you want to listen to the person's issue or concern, or even what, what makes them happy, what makes them tick, in a good yep, way. Yep. And then that way you're getting to know them. So there might be, let's just say you're the business connection, and you met someone at a function, and they were telling you that they like doing outdoors kind of things with their clients, etc., etc and you might bump into someone else weeks later who provides outdoor activities you'll be like that connection i made i'm going to join the dots there yeah. and they're going to appreciate that i've joined them up and you'll only be in that stage if you've been asking the right questions and you fully understand where somebody is coming from um so this fundamentally what we're asking you to do is speak ask questions listen um, and just communicate in the best possible way and Communication is, is an, an, a skill, it's, a, it's an art form. Um, some people are very good at communicating, others are not, and that's okay, but as soon as you understand that, 
it can be developed, you can work on things, then you can start to develop your own forms of communication so that every single person that you, that you meet, that you interact with, you have this sort of lasting connection with them, you have a meaningful connection with them because even if it's just a, a one-time thing when it's maybe at a business breakfast or um, you know, it's a friend of a friend in a bar when you're out on a Friday night, um, and you just, as long as you're asking questions, you understand at least a small part of that person. How to make meaningful connections. Yeah. Actually, what, a very good type as well is, is just say to people, so, so you're watching us right now, we've got Facebook and we've got YouTube up and running, and um, we want to make meaningful connections with you, um, because whether you like it or not, we are in a relationship with you. <laughs> So now we have an, a relationship with, an, or with our audience and that's only getting stronger and stronger and stronger as th times go by. Mm -hmm. um, some of you have been listening to us and, and have had a longer relationship than others. Some of you watching this right, right now might have seen, well, I'm fairly new to this channel, um, or maybe it's your very first time. But um, whether you're a first timer or, or, a, or a seasoned kilted coach E, then uh, we have a relationship with you. Because the interesting thing is that, especially when it comes to doing the comments, you start to remember the same kind of names. Yep. And they pop up and you're like, oh, I know that name, yep. I know that name. And I, th I think being absolutely honest as well, you know, if you want a meaningful relationship, then just be honest and just say that this is where I am, this is, this is what I'm looking for from this relationship, this is what I'm expecting back. Um, understand, that we've had people in the past who expect way too much of us, yeah. you know, we've got a relatively large audience and uh, and an email list as well so we email our, our, our list that goes out and I think we've got maybe two and a half thousand people on our email list and we've got 57,000 people um, on YouTube I think maybe close to 30,000 on Facebook and when somebody doesn't get that personal advice even though they've just subscribed or they're part of an email system and they really really uh, worked up and it's because their expectations from the relationship were not met um, so we're here to say we're not perfect and we're, we try to remember as many of your names as possible. Daniel Millard, he's on YouTube, he's one of our regulars, he yes. says hi Stephen and Rab. Hey! Um, we've got loads of our clan members, Joe's on, Cheryl's on. Again, can everybody say happy birthday to Cheryl because there's more people on now, so yeah. happy birthday Cheryl. And we're going to do our normal thing on YouTube guys, yep. we do this every single time, we've got 39 people watching, we've got three thumbs up. Can we get a few more thumbs up for the yep. for the video so far? And then if you've got any questions, anything at all actually, Sunday q &A, anything goes. Yeah, if you've got questions, fire yeah, away. Yeah, fire away. Um, Anne's on, we've already said that. Oh, Casey, our mugs just came in, they've ordered mugs, oh, yay! Yeah, you got to slam them down and say, stick to the damn plan. <laughs> If you're not aware, we've got merchandise on our website and we've just launched a, a Stick to the Damn Plan mug, uh, which are pretty awesome. And Victoria Maltzer saying, happy birthday, girl. And it's so girl. funny because we see girl, I also think of y'all, which yeah, is yeah, perfect yeah, yeah. for Cheryl being <laughs> Texas, you know. I'm getting bitten here, it's all in my sheet and everything. Oh, loads of hearts popping up. Lots of happy birthday, Cheryl, so we Aye, like that. This is Spread good. the love, make the connections. Yeah, we're getting eaten alive. We always choose the woods. We always think, ah, oh, we'll go to the woods because you get a nice backdrop rather than... And it's sheltered from the wind, which yeah, is so the main thing. Um, and the path literally is just there. But every time we come into the woods, especially this time, it's 10 to 6 p.m., yeah. um, the flies and the midges are just out. So they're just chomping away. We apologise for the hand pieces. movements. Loads of purple hearts there, Anne. Happy days. Um, we'll check out the merchandise, Christy. Helen Robinson Borvik. I think you cool. said you were from Australia, Helen. I think I saw that pop up. Maybe I'm making that up. <laughs> Maybe I'm imagining it. Um, who else is on? I like you, but damn, you talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, Nickelback's on. Love, hey. love, love all you. Tell you, Cheryl. Happy days. Uh, good old Nickelback, eh? Nickelback. Do, 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 do. do. <laughs> it's funny, because I actually used to like Nickelback. Not that I don't like them now, but... I can't think of any songs in my head. I know oh. they did a Spider-Man one um, at one point, but the hero, that's it. and they did How You Remind Me, and another one. Oh, I, the only right, other yeah. one I can remember is the one that Chuck Liddell was in the video, and it was, was I'm it? tired of standing in line to clubs I never get in. Oh yeah, um, goes change yeah. my name. What about it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change my name. <laughs> can everybody pop, pop up their favourite band? Actually, yeah. <laughs> um, Greg McDonald saying, I love your approach to life, fitness, mental health and food. Um, I'm learning to live better. Happy days, Happy days, Greg. Greg. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks for joining us. Just waking up in Canada. But 
That's like 11 in the morning there, isn't it? <laughs> Loving that your dogs are having the time of their life, so playful. Yeah, constant. So we've just um, recorded a video, not yesterday, Friday, um, ready for Monday, and um, the dogs were just fight, 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 fight. <laughs> so I'm editing it, and I'm like, oh, no way. They're just kind of, you can just hear them constantly in the background. Somebody popped up and said Fleetwood Mac with the bands, Foo Fighters, love oh, them. Cool, Bon Jovi. Metallica, now we're talking. <laughs> Um, who else? Journey, ACDC, can't go wrong with that. Um, happy days all week long. Clanadonia and Sucker Patro, don't know what The Eagles, happy days. Clanadonia, I never heard of them, oh, but it sounds good. Red Hot Chili <laughs> Pipers. <laughs> was that Pipers or pep? Pipers? Pipers, yeah, yeah, yeah well, we, we love the Pipers. I was at a wedding, my friend Nadia's wedding, um, a few weeks back, and the Pipers were playing, and they just had like this little half hour set. And uh, you think, oh, it's just bagpipe, but it's not. They've put on this like awesome performance, yeah. and at one point they were like, okay, well, we're gonna have a pipe off. So they had these different pipers, and you tell us who, which one's best. So they did a big pipe and the cheers and everything mm. else. But then the two drummers had a drum off, and it was really cool because they were drumming along. Like well, one had like the the fast hands, and one with like, the big beat. Yeah, yeah. But then they started them. Um, so one would go, the other one would go, and then what they started doing was uh, like drumming. But then they were sword fighting with their with their uh, what no, they call them sticks. Um, it was really, really quite good. Good entertainment. Have you been to church, boys? Church, not on a Sunday. Oh, run rig. Hey. Yeah, we love run rig. Dropkick Murphys. There, bro. They do shipping up to Bo Boston. That's a brilliant tune. It's in uh, the Departed. Um, is it? You seen the movie Departed? Yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah, that, yeah, yeah. This quality tune that's in that. But it's funny because I used to use that track for a dip track when I used to teach classes. And one of the ladies in the class sounds like I lost my leg. <laughs> so I lost my way. I'm shipping up to Boston. I lost my way. Car it is. Carlin saying the Mumford and Sons love Mumford oh, and Sons. Oh yeah, yeah. Can't go wrong there. See, making connections and with Queen, music. Right? Yeah, exactly. See, have things in common. That's another way of making meaningful connections. Somebody said you too. Now I used to like you too, but see, in recent years, it's not just the music. I've gone off Bono completely. I, I, I actually can't stand you too. I've ne I never yeah, have. Yeah. I don't like them. And the other thing that annoyed me about you too, and it. it's not their fault, but they released an album that automatically went onto your iTunes. That annoyed the shit out of me because my memory was was fairly tight at oh. the time. And I had all these U2 songs, I was like, what the hell? And it was automatically downloaded, so you have to go back and then delete it. I was like, piss off, I'll choose if I what, want that in my playlist. What was the joke? It was, um, uh, what's the difference between Bono and God? God doesn't walk around pretending he's Bono. <laughs> Fair play. Queen, happy days. Um, that was a blag. That was a big blag. At least take your shirt off for us to see while we listen. Not Lee, I think you must have just caught on, but it's too cold today, so yeah. shirts are on. Otherwise, we... I mean, how many times have we caught the cold taking our shirts off on days like this? I know, I know. So, it was actually um, frosty on the car. I actually morning. brought my body warmer with me as well. I left it in your car. Oh, did you? <laughs> Should have brought it with me. Oh well. Hey, Ron Grant, so we recognise the name, Ron. Comments regularly. Yeah. Do the fan dangle. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it's That's what? right. Yeah. I forgot that's in there. Yeah. It's but um the I don't know what it's called, um, but the Queen uh, movie I love about Freddie Mercury is yeah, coming yeah. out. Um, I think it's November. But the the, the trail looks awesome yeah. for it. Does the uh, guy that's playing uh, Freddie Mercury look the part? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Does yeah. he? I think actually there's a bit of a not a documentary, but you know how you get these videos on YouTube and Facebook um, showing you like the making of it. Yeah, yeah. And he really kind of nailed it. It's, it's pretty awesome. Because there's a lot of people, You know how you get those? Um, are they called impersonators or? You know they they, they pretend to be celebrities, but they, yeah. some of them are amazing. Yeah. In fact, some of you can't tell them apart. Yeah, yeah. Was it not? There was. I remember hearing the story that I think Adele went to an Adele person in person. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the people around her didn't even clock on. Yeah, right? like, yeah. I think well, they eventually got there. Uh, eventually, but <laughs> not right away. So yeah. does anybody know the name? Is it just called Queen? Like the the Queen movie coming in November? Um, what's it called? And do you know any more details about it? Because I cannot wait. I love Queen. Yeah. Everybody, oh, the, the their Van album Dango. sales will go right back up again, oh, yeah. aren't they? I think they've down. Do you have an app, boys? Our app, Mark, is linked in with our clan membership. Yep. So if you sign up to the clan, which will cost you $20 a month, you then download the app. The app doesn't work without the subscription, and then you get all your workouts and recipes and everything else. You can message in the app, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah. Let's make sure. Yeah. Is that the last thingy that was on there? Oh, oh, no. We've missed loads. How's no. that happened? The actor's called Rami Malik. Rami Malik. Mm. Ah, Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, what or who is a body warmer? <laughs> who is a body warmer? <laughs> <laughs> a body warmer is like a, a, little, a, little, a little tie girl that just hugs you. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just walk about there all day. So he just jumps on your back and just goes, snuggles in. It's a, gi a, a gili. People call them a gili. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody is apparently the name of the movie. Ah, nice. Um, question about finding a local trainer. Let's just see. Um, question about finding a local trainer. I've seen too many that are just professional set counters. Yeah. Um, I can gl glorified rep counters. Um, yeah. Feel like they'll give you an exercise. Right, we're doing we're doing squats now, and they will not look at form. They'll not look at activation. They'll not look at um, periodization of the program. They'll just say, "Yeah, we're doing squats. And we're doing three sets of fifteen. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> um, the best thing I'm you laughing, can do. It's not funny, actually. <laughs> to be honest, I always say the proof is in the pudding. Um, look for somebody who gets results and. Um, and speak to clients about them, you know, just ask yeah. questions. And I even just and just try a bunch out, just say, look, I'm looking for a personal trainer, I'm gonna come with you for a month, and then I'm gonna move. Whether you're good or not, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna try somebody else. And then try it for, say, three months, three different trainers, and then you've got something to actually base it on. If you're completely new to this, then it's important. Joe's saying, sorry, I can't keep up with the chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Joe, you're forgiven, sir. You can catch it later. Catch it later. So has anybody had any experiences with bad um, relationships, whether it be work colleagues, um, loved ones perhaps, um, business partners, whatever, that you've found a way through and found a way to fix it and to create more of a meaningful relationship? Tell us, tell us a story um, or tell us any examples if you so wish. You know it's going to be like a big comment that will say read more. I know, like, yeah. Oh, shit. If you're on Facebook, don't bother because we can't read them. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. YouTube slowed down. Oh, they're all popping no. up now. Question of the $20 membership activates the app. Yes. Um, so basically, yeah, so when you sign up to our clan, uh, which you can do on the website, thekiltedcoaches.com forward slash clan, um, what will happen is you'll sign up and you'll get an automatic email sent to you with the link to the app to download with your login details. Um, you can, I mean, ultimately, you could actually go find the app right now but you wouldn't be able to do anything with it because it's like the first screen is like log in. You will have no login details at all. So you could actually find the app and download it if you want on your phone, feel free, uh, but you won't get access to it. Um, so yeah, sign up to the clan. You'll get the, the link directly to download the app uh, and then everything comes from there. Somebody was saying, um, learn to get along with my ex and set aside differences for my children. Oh, nicely that's, that's done. Who's that, Carolyn? And in a short enough message. That yeah, the... yeah, that's awesome. That's that's one of the best things you could end. Yeah. You hear so many stories of uh, so much animosity between failed relationships. It's always the kids that suffer. Yeah. In fact, when I was younger, I was five turning six when my parents split up. And but that was one thing I was always happy about. Right from the word go, they got everything sorted. And I'd see my dad every Saturday, and it was just, yep. it, it, it stabilised everything right away, which I thought was really important. I've got a client who's going through a difficult time because his daughter is going through a divorce, and it just sounds messy. The former son-in-law has just been a twanger, just been controlling. Not that it's always the, the guy, or sometimes the girl's problem, but basically when one party is making life difficult, you just think, think of the kids. Yeah. They obviously think themselves. I think in any field relationship, the initial feelings are going to be really raw and it's difficult to get over them initially but you know give it you know even six months all those emotions will subside and you can then think logically about the, the future mm -hmm. like if, 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 if me and Rab ever split up you know we'd have to get together for the pups anyway you know they're 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 gonna cry if they don't get to play together so George um, Liller Liller is it hello from Detroit USA so we're making connections George happy days um, Shannon's on, it's hard to make the right choice in a relationship, yes, it's very true, yep. it's always tough, especially if there is kids involved. But in, in time, everybody will find a way, if it's important to you, to yep. um, to deal with these things. Um, just finding out about your clan, have shared your Facebook with friends though, we'll check it, the website, happy days. There's, there's lots of testimonial videos on there, and there's lots of clan members on here, they can yeah, yeah, yeah. dance for you. Ron Grant, successful manager can't be friends with their employees, keep it professional, give clear direction, expect them to do a good job. Yeah, there's that old saying, you can't be the chief and play with the Indians. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that depends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, absolutely, you've got to, it depends on, I've got clients that, that would socialise with their um, their employees, but they still hold back a bit. They wouldn't cut loose. They might go out, take the car, they go to the function, but they don't get slozzled. Yeah. Slozzled? Slozzled. Razzled, whatever. Um, yeah. So I think it's because it's, if, if you were to 
get drunk and make an arse of yourself and then you've got to go back into a professional situation. Yep. Uh, but then you could argue it's all about being professional, right? Work is work and fun is fun, but... It depends know. what your work is, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, join the clan. You won't regret it. Happy Thanks, day, Cheryl. Cheryl. Singing it loud on your birthday. Now, we're still only on 11 likes on YouTube. This yeah, is... so anybody watching on YouTube, there's 33 of you now. Can you all give us a thumbs up on the video? Um, it really just helps boost the, um, the show a little bit more. And that's, that's your contribution to this relationship. Yes. Uh, Nickelback saying, most important thing, never get messy with loved ones. Honest yet, not messy. Which is fair play, yeah. right? Mikey's saying he's a good guy, but he doesn't have patience with some people. So, this is, this is a, <coughs> only you will know best than this, Mikey. But if, when you notice something about yourself, you ask yourself, do I want to be that way or not? Now, I don't know where you're lacking patience. I, I, I certainly know people who have no patience whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, patience is a virtue. It can be a very, very good thing. But at the same time, some people have too much patience mm -hmm. um, and, and are walked all over. So I would ask, ask yourself the question, am I happy with that aspect of me? Um, and if you're not happy, then something that you can potentially develop. It's also as well, because you can have patience for a certain person or situation for so long. You might have, and then you eventually lose, because that's something you, you might lose your patience with someone, and then you feel like that person, you've got no patience, but you've got patience for everyone else. So you start asking, why am I losing it with this? And then you realise yeah. it's, it's been because, going on for too long. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're the equivalent of an ask hole, as yeah, I was yeah. saying uh -huh. earlier. Um, the, you know, you give them advice, they don't take it, or they continue to make the same mistakes over and over and over again, much to your dismay. Yeah. So um, if, if you're at fault because you've got no patience full stop, then you might want to address that. If it's just lack of patience with this one person, you want to maybe address why. Um, so Carolyn was asking if our programme includes nutrition, um, she needs to change her eating habits ASAP. Yeah. So yes, absolutely. The clan itself has some basic nutrition advice. If you just want to kind of delve into a few little principles to apply to your life, then that's there. But our main emphasis is on our 12 week programme, which is yours. Um, if you are part of the clan, sorry, yeah. my dog's standing on me here. Get away. Um, if, you, if you're part of the clan, then you get our Everlean program, which is a 12-week program, and you can add it onto your, your, your account at any point, free of charge. You can do it multiple times if you want to. It's 12 weeks, we just need to know. In fact, when you join, it'll start the first Monday after you join. Yeah. Um, and then after that, if you want it to, to be delayed, start at another time, or you finish it and you want to do it again, just ask and we can, we can put that on there for you. But that covers all your nutrition. It's 12 weeks worth of full nutrition coaching uh, with all the lessons drip fed each week so there's no overwhelm. It's really simple principles that we just add on each week. Um, so it builds up very, very nicely. Now I had a question there about any recommendations uh, from Frida planning a little trip to Scotland for my 40th next year. Oh, nice. Um, are you looking for recommendations of where to go, Frida? Sorry, your message went beyond our thing. Yeah, there's a big Facebook. message. We can't read it all. Yeah. Um, so you let us know if you're looking for places to go or... Yeah, try, try to get experience um, all of Scotland. So you can go to... You can go to, um, obviously, the big cities. Go to Edinburgh. Edinburgh is like tourist city. Um, but it's, it's for, a, for good reason, you know, Edinburgh Castle is there, you know, on this kind of big, big hill. Um, it's awesome. Just go to Edinburgh, experience it, but experience the wilderness as well. You know, go north, um, experience the glens and the lochs and the, and the beautiful scenery. And what's that route again? It's the equivalent of Route 66, but it's Scotland's version. Scotland 500 or something like that. Yeah, um, there's a route that goes up the west coast, which is getting even busier now. Yeah, um, yeah. I think there was a documentary on it and all the all the sort of um, bed and breakfast and hotels all the way up that route are yeah. like three times as busy. When did she say she's going to Scotland? Oh, I can't, can't remember. remember. But um, Scotland has some of the best beaches in the world and you will not believe that they're actually in Scotland. When you see Scotland, you're like, okay, it's going to be cold, it's going to be raining. But when you see these white sandy beaches with the crystal clear water, um, uh, they're just absolutely spectacular and they're all up the west coast, um, completely untouched. That's why they're so nice. Joe Byers, can't wait for you to come to Vegas. Yay! Vegas, baby. <laughs> yeah, Vegas is um, Vegas is happening. But you've always wanted to go to NYC, though. To I know, I know, but we can do both. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's we can do true. both. Do a wee bit of tour. Want to go in June? Huh? June, June, that'd definitely. Be nice, yeah. yeah, June will be nice. Any route that has a whiskey distillery along it. <laughs> There's actually lots of routes for that, right? Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll find distilleries all over the place. We loved it. When we went up north, um, we did the Glen Livet, and that was Buff, brilliant, yeah. wasn't it? Our favourite whiskey, and it's just, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. It was a good tour. It was, um, 
It's funny because we were in the kilts and automatically thought we weren't. When they found out we were Scottish, we're like, really? Because apparently everybody that goes on the tours here aren't Scottish, yeah, but wearing their kilts. Right. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Um, I got a plan to trip to Sc oh Cheryl, hundred percent. I've got you, to plan a trip to Scotland. Yeah, Cheryl, we need to come across for a clan gathering, which is in the making. Plan that trip, y'all. Y'all. Holly saying, I'll take you to the hills, Sarah. The hills have eyes, Sarah. Be <laughs> careful if you go there with Holly. Lots of those in Vegas. Lots of what's in Vegas? Hills or Sarah and Cheryl. Let's go. So Shannon, Sarah, and Cheryl, welcome to Scotland. Here we are. Happy days. Happy days. So uh, we'll put the kettle on, shall we? Uh, kinds of people, the, um, the energy, energy vampire. vampires. We did a video oh, on that, Mikey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go and search for the energy vampires. I would imagine Mikey's probably seen that before. It's a mindset probably, monkey. Yeah. Mindset Mind monkey. monkey. <laughs> mindset monkey. <laughs> I was going to say because we do mindset Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the energy vampires. That was a funny episode, wasn't it? It was. So yeah, if you go into our Mindset Monday playlist and look up <laughs> energy vampires to see what Mikey's talking about, and it's how to deal with them. Nickelback's asking hillbillies? Hillbillies. Uh, is that it's because us? I said the hills have eyes. All right, okay. So, <laughs> Sarah and Cheryl, I'll meet. So Anne's going to come as well. Hey, we met Anne. Anne was great. Anne, Anne I had a wee uh, nip of your um, your Glen Turret oh, nice. uh, on Saturday night. It was delicious. Delicious. Happy days. Just the one wee nip, ha was it? Party with the coaches. Um, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and you must come too, or yeah. we'll be there, don't you worry about that. We're still wanting to do our clan gathering as well, a little Highland retreat. Yeah, um, we've been so looking at different locations for it, which will be good. Yeah, we've actually got a good, a great plan for that, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, we just need to get the final details sorted, get some dates in the yeah. diary, and and, uh, and we'll do it. Um, Paulina's saying, trying to watch on my phone. Happy days, Paulina. And saying, wow, it's lasted a long time. Yeah, and because we got, <laughs> we actually got quite a few gifts along the sort of same time. Yeah. Um, and we just we just kind of take our time with them. We used to go through whiskey crazy when we were doing the Friday night whiskey feeds. Yeah, yeah. And now um, we don't do as much um, drinking whiskey on on camera, so yeah, yeah. it's kind of just sat, hasn't well, it? Well, it's it's because we when why was it? Because we couldn't do the Friday nights because we had stuff on the Saturday, and then recently we've had the twelve week coaching call on the, earlier on the Saturday morning. Yeah. So it's not great to tank the whiskey the night before that. Uh, you mean clan party or is this boot camp? It's a bit both, Sarah. I'd be. Um, Boot camp in the day, party at night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it, we're going to call it the Highland Retreat um, because it's like a, it's a retreat. So it's going to be a mixture of fitness, nutrition, but mindset, psychology, relaxation, connections, mm -hmm. having fun. Oscar's asking when. Um, we'll be looking to hopefully next summer or just the yeah, end next, of summer. Yeah, it'll be next summer, um, June, June, July time. Uh, the issue that we're having is a lot of the places we want to book tend to also double as wedding venues. So... <laughs> because everybody's getting married in Scotland, apparently. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, a bit frisk frisky. <laughs> frisky? Frisky? <laughs> a bit frisky. I'm going to throw it right in the bushy bit. You I'm do a, that. Uh, I'll time it, right? See how long it takes her to find this ball. It's going balls deep. <laughs> Timer's on. That That's went pretty cool. far. I, did, I, did, I went right in. She's, she's <laughs> off for it, though. She's off. Uh, somebody was asking, uh, it was like Bital or Bital, was asking how old we are. I am 34. And I am 35. Yeah. Um, uh, well, I want to the crack on videos for piping, what? For piping stuff, KCB stuff, when was that one? Why not a proper camping event? Um, because you just can't guarantee the weather in Scotland yep. and oh, a couple of days camping is fine. We want it to be a mixture of um, you know, getting back to, to nature, so there will be an element of that, but at the same time, having a nice comfy bed um, to go back to is, is important, um, and you will enjoy it much more. Yeah, and it's also, we want to be able to go out and do activities, come, get a yeah. warm shower, and relax with whiskey, have fire, and it's, do, it's do not, build and stuff. We're not the camping experts, we are the kilted coaches, so there's a lot of stuff that we want to do. <laughs> do you remember that tent I bought? <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> we were going cheap budget, we are actually the original plan just to sleep outside, weren't we? We are like, no, no, I'll get a tent. Our, our legs were hanging out the bottom and everything, it was unbelievable. To be fair, you had it not made up, but laying flat in your sitting room. 
and it looked. And, and I and I was like, that's pretty small. And I laid down on it, and my legs were like sticking out by this much. I was like, is this like a kiddie's tent? <laughs> but we took it and, and we made uh, it work. And we, we slept in it. So I woke up in the morning, and my foot was really sore, and both of them were really cold. Joe's loved the late night parties. Yeah, <laughs> they were good fun. Um, it's, it's, it's also because you got to remember in the time between when we used to do them. Um, I've had a second child and what well, my youngest daughter is what, she eight months now so it's the kind of it's that period in my life where I'm well, you've already you've been through it as well I've recently it, but it's yep. you've got to be kind of up early or you're up late and you've got to be on hand and stuff so it kind of meant getting smashed on whiskey which is a little better as yeah possible. and you've kind of got to be very aware like the thought of you can't fully enjoy yourself because you have a few, few whiskeys and you're like yeah 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 but then in the back of your mind like I could be up all night, which I was several times <laughs> when, <laughs> when uh, we'd have a few whiskeys and, and I'd get back and the kids are already up. Um, so yeah, not, not great. <laughs> <laughs> and you get that kind of that light sweat <laughs> when you've just not slept. So Paulina's going to watch later. Bye Paulina, if you're not going to watch. Happy days. Planning another live Christmas party. Most likely, Ron. Yeah, yeah. we're actually watching that back the other yeah. day. Uh, we probably will do that. Yeah, that was good fun, wasn't it? Eric is recovering from open heart surgery. What's Eric Cortes, your... that's right. I yeah, remember that name, Eric. I do. Welcome, to, welcome uh, back, sir. Day to encouragement. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah. Eric, nice to have you back, yes, mate. Yes, I remember actually before you were going to have that, Eric, because I definitely yeah, yeah. yeah. In fact, was Eric not in the clan once upon a time? Eric Cortes. I know the uh, name, Eric. Glad yeah. to hear you're, better, you're getting better, sir. Um, Brittany Holman, so oh, two. my daughter is six months and my son is two years. Oh, so nice. I'm in the same boat as you, yep. Brittany. My eldest daughter is three turning four, but the youngest is eight months. And uh, yeah, so we're in the same boat. Right, who's who's on here? Um, Casey's. That is Some days should all come. Right, yeah, um, we've got just two dogs. This one's mine, chasing the ball. Oh, oh, did you stop your timer? Oh, yeah, three minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> that was pretty far. She, I think she found it long before that. I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, so Casey's saying that we should come to the Highland Games in New Hampshire. Ooh. So many people interested. Hello from Only in Canada. There's a place called Only. Only. Happy days. Only. <clears throat> I didn't have the pain after. What's that for that? Oh, he's talking about the. What's he talking about? Uh, Joe's saying, I think he's saying he'd be dead if he stayed up all night partying. Oh, he I've... would do it if he didn't have the pain after. I think. I think that's what you're saying, Joe, right? Um, yeah, do you know that? It's, it's just a waste of a day. Like, it's, it's, I know. Crack it. Like, well, I did have an awesome time, right? Yeah. There's so many times we just stayed up all night, just drinking whiskey, having a blather. You're like, man, this is totally going to be worth it. And then you lose the whole next day because you just sleep through the whole thing. Yeah. Or you've got kids screaming in your ears. Um, and it is painful afterwards, but, you know, I've done it more than once, therefore it must have been worth it. See, in your 20s, though, you're a bit more immortal. You used to be able to do that kind of yeah. stuff and then go out again. Whereas in your 30s, it's like, whew. Ottawa, Diana, that's where Only is in Ottawa. Oh, nice. Happy days. Um, going out for tacos. Oh, man. Nice. Oh, see, if you get, we don't really get tacos here, do we? Unless see, you buy them yourself. Yeah, see, we buy them from the supermarket sometimes and make them at home. But I actually, I'm not a fan of tacos. Like, tacos, tacos like the little shelly type thing like this, right? Yeah. See, I just think it's awkward. It's like... It you, does break up in your hand. You can't really... You bite and it breaks up and you're like, it just falls over. Ah. There's a, a fajita. You're like, you wrap it up, you tuck it under, and it's like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm having my fajita. And you can hold it in your hand and you can munch away and it's not going to go anywhere. Whereas the taco's just like, I don't know, it's kind of like supposed to be handy, but it's just fiddly and it makes more mess than it's saving. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna you're start not a taco man, I'm right? <laughs> taco Bell, don't come knocking. He's not going to support I, you. I'm going to start a new, a new YouTube channel. I was going to call it Tacos? What the fuck? <laughs> Just have you in different locations, just going raging and yeah. just break a taco. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you get those burgers that when you bite in, the burger bites out. You're like, what the? Ah, oh, soft tacos only. You get soft ones. All oh, right, that's cheating then, isn't it? So, so is that this is like a, a small tortilla wrap then? Must be. Mm. Oh, I think it is actually. We we flat wrap. <clears throat> Uh, don't diss tacos, guys. Oh, oh. you're in a messy territory. Uh, listen, Sarah, it wasn't me, it was him. I quite happily have a discussion with anybody about tacos and how they're shite. Well, I tell you what, what's interesting, one of our favourite movies, Demolition Man, right? Yeah, Taco Bell. They changed the movie. The original movie was Taco Bell, Taco right? Taco Bell, yeah. They've changed it now to Pizza Hut. No, I they shit you not. not. And even in the movie, They've changed the sign, it says Pizza Hut, it's not Taco Bell anymore. Jesus. And it even says it, rather we're going to Taco Bell, she says we're going to, uh, does she call it Pizza I don't know what she says, but she doesn't say Taco Bell, <laughs> they've, they've dubbed it out. And I don't know why that is either. Uh, where do you get the bed? Huggis. I'd love The Huggis? <laughs> <laughs> 
Best haggis. Simon yeah. Howes. Simon Howes. It's fairly local to us. Yep. Damn tasty stuff. And actually, they sell the most haggis in the world. And that's actually a true fact. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, they sell the most haggis in Scotland, but because Scotland's the biggest producers of haggis, it's actually the biggest in the world. So then, technically, the biggest <coughs> in the universe as well, right? Because technically, the biggest in the universe. That's a claim, eh? Yeah. He sells the most haggis in the universe, and that is not an exaggeration. But he's asking what's haggis. Now, haggis is um, oats mixed. Um, it used to be With, mixed up in a oh, sheep's stomach, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's made, so basically, they take the sheep's stomach to to put everything in. Yep. Uh, but what what you would <coughs> call offal, um, and it sounds awful as awful. Basically, it's like all the bits and pieces from the animal that you wouldn't normally find on the supermarket, but actually the bits that are probably best for you. Got more vitamins and and bits and pieces to go along with it. Taco Bell is the best late night drunk food. We believe you, sir. Really? He doesn't believe you. Taco, it's really like when you're sober, it, the, the break up and the go everywhere, you're like, oh my God. And you've got like all this taco stuff down you. And... <laughs> I think but you've imagine... had a bad experience with no, tacos, No, no, I've tried them like several times. And... That's what I mean, have you just poured them down you? <laughs> just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what it looks like, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I'm not going to be able to look at tacos the same way again. No, neither am I. Suddenly, I'm like, no more tacos. I say, <laughs> sounds like Menudo. Hey, great to see you guys, Pablo. Great hey, to Pablo. see you. How the hell are you eating tacos? Wait, so when is this Vegas trip again, Carlin? When we book it. <laughs> Which uh, hasn't happened yet. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? We've got a few things in the pipeline uh, yeah, early we, next year. Yeah, we've got we want to do the clan gathering first because it's... I suspect the Vegas trip will just end up being an absolute piss up. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. suspect. Yeah, we're going to do the Highland retreat first. Um, it's almost like because we can we can do a lot more planning ourselves, we can see what's all about, and then we can take that model and we bring it over to Vegas. If you eat meat cheese around the entire inside the taco shell. Ah, it flew up too. Ah, I didn't see it. Um, uh, Angela from where? I don't know where that is. Washington, Shoreline, Washington. Yes, I've been watching for a while. Thanks for being so positive this morning. I need it with all the shit going on in the US politics. Yeah. We try not to Anything, chat politics. Yeah, we don't chat politics, but if it, we bring a smile to your face, then we're happy. We can bring an even bigger smile to say that all politicians are twangers. Yes, every single one of them. They every should, one of them. They should have a competition to decide like who gets in power is to see who can eat tacos the, clean, the, the cleanest. <laughs> if, you get, on you. if you get any politician from any country to answer questions straight without... They should just sit down and have politician yes, no time. The yes, no game with politicians. Yeah, yeah. They wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> yes, no. Do you like tacos? Well, it's all... No, 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 no. <laughs> yes or no? Well, it's all to... No, 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 right, right. You're yeah. out there. It yeah. depends. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And they'll send their own agenda. So yeah, politicians, twangers. Right, how hard are twire. you holding these tacos? Damn, you don't need to use your arms. No, but like, if, even if you're just to hold it lightly. I think you're gonna have to show them how you do it, mate. <laughs> We've kind of forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but even, like, I, I don't get it because it's a crispy shell. It's kind of like, like I get nachos because you're picking up an individual little kind of nacho. Eating. And you can like you can dip it in stuff and whatnot. You can balance a little bit of you know um, chili or whatever on it. Yeah, but one fine. thing I actually prefer tacos over nachos. And I'll tell you really? why. I love the top layer of nachos. It looks the part. It's got the cheese. It's got the sauce. It's got the this that, next, ah. and, and then you get to the base layer. It's just crisps. Nah, like, it depends how you make them. Oh, well, it is. If I make my own, I do it in oh, stacked yeah, layers. Yeah. But when you buy them from somewhere, oh yeah, it's terrible. You, you go to like a, a cheapy restaurant, and it, yeah, it's like, it yeah, looks amazing. A, you like to have one layer and it's gone. But no, if you make them, layer them up. Cheryl just showed us her taco. It's an art. She was your taco shell. She did. <laughs> Cheryl, I know it's your birthday. You can do what you want on your birthday, but there's a watershed here. It's 20 by 6. So you put your taco on the internet. Just go for the sausages. Yeah, taco shells and chimichangas. Chimichanga. <laughs> if you said real fast, chimichanga. Chimichangas. Chimichanga. Um, and not Taco Bell when I come for a visit. Show you how it's done. I actually don't think there's Taco Bell I've, in Scotland. I'd never heard of Taco Bell until Demolition Man, so I don't think we'll, we'll actually have them here. You can get them though, you can get them from the. Um, what's that little Mexican restaurant called? Can't remember, doesn't matter. 
<laughs> well, you can get tacos, it's just whether you get Taco Bell. Yeah, we don't have Taco Bell, it's Holly's soon. I don't know. Holly knows all. <laughs> Nice right. American accent. I prefer pizza. Mikey, I am with you. Pizza all the way. It's easy. Do you know, I never had my first pizza until after the turtles. Really? And I remember back then, the big thing was people were getting really random pizzas, like chocolate and marshmallow pizza, and all, like loads of random stuff, because back then pizza places were jumping on the whole Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle thing and saying, we'll make you any topping. I never had a chocolate one, mind you, but that was the first time I ever had yeah. that. Yeah. Mm. No, it's just like a nice barbecue chicken pizza. <sighs> with Ooh. extra peppers and sweet corn. Oh, damn. I live a mile from the Mexican border. We have real tacos. Come on over. And Cheryl's crying now. Well, you can cry if you want to. It's your birthday, Cheryl. Yep. It's your party and cry if I want to. Uh, right. right so we're, We've been getting eaten here. Yeah. So, so now we're going to go eat a pizza and some taco shells. How, how do you eat the taco shells, mate? <laughs> 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 Well, I hope everybody's had an awesome weekend. Uh, for those that are in the clan, keep an eye out for tomorrow's post in the Google Plus community because it's all about a weekly win. So again, come up with something cool that you're going to be held accountable for. And I'll yes. put the post in tomorrow morning and hold you accountable. And if you're not part of the clan, you should be. But if you're not, you can still do this challenge. Like just challenge, doesn't matter. Just challenge yourself to do something and hold yourself accountable. Yeah. And your prize can be a tackle. <laughs> <laughs> Right, have an awesome week everybody, thanking you. Yeah, thanks for joining us guys, lots of love.